Good morning, and thank you for joining us here at the California Department of Justice. Uh, we're here because not every day is it that the California Department of Justice makes news by taking on folks in the auto industry. Uh, I know that most people remember that just last week, uh, California is suing to defend our clean car standards. Well, today we're suing for something perhaps as important for many Californians, and that is to make sure that when they buy a car, they're getting a good deal, and they're not having to deal with unscrupulous auto dealers. Uh, in many ways, uh, what we're about to announce may impact more Californians directly and immediately than what we announced last week in defending our nation's clean car standards to make sure that our vehicles are not only burning efficiently, but giving us as good a mileage as we can get. Today we're talking about the vehicles that those Californians are going to drive and how much they pay and whether or not they're getting a, a decent deal, in fact, a legitimate deal for the vehicle that they're buying. I want to introduce uh, some of the team that made today's announcement possible. Uh, there are a few folks that are not here, but I'm going to also mention their name if you'll bear with me. First, I'd like to start with Nick Akers, our Senior Assistant Attorney General, Michael Ellisoffen, who is a Supervising Deputy Attorney General, Hunter Landon Holm, Hunter is right here, and Hunter will uh, likely answer any questions that are pretty detailed on the case since he is a person uh, front and center uh, de representing the Department of Justice. Adelina Acuna, Deputy Attorney General. Uh, Joe Ragazzo, another Deputy Attorney General. Uh, Colleen Fewer, uh, a DAG who is not here with us. Nancy Quash, uh, Associate Governmental Program Analyst, who is not here. Uh, Keith Bradford, Senior Investigative Auditor, who is not here. All three of those individuals who are not here were active in helping investigate and prepare this case for trial. And Ellie Bloom, our Senior Assistant Attorney uh, General who is here with us as well and deals with a lot of these consumer affair issues for the California Department of Justice. As I said, for many families, the most expensive one-time purchase that they will make is not a home for many. It is their vehicle, their car, their truck. That car or truck could be a lifeline for them because it connects them to school or to a job or to their family. But for families who don't have a lot of money or good credit, the options for making a purchase of that vehicle can be very limited. When car dealerships take advantage of that and target those who are vulnerable, in many cases often, uh, and sometimes uh, predominantly in low-income communities who have to deal with subprime credit and oftentimes, unfortunately, with deceitful advertising and illegal sales and lending practices, for these folks, for all these things to happen to them, it's not just unconscionable, it's unlawful. We're talking about hardworking families who make every dollar count, seeing their hard-earned money <clears throat> swindled away by dishonest tactics that put them in, a, in unaffordable debt. And here at the California Department of Justice, we won't stand for that. That's why today we filed a lawsuit against Paul Blanco's so-called good car company and its chief executive, Paul Blanco, alleging that they misled and defrauded consumers and lenders, with the results being that consumers ended up with auto loans that they could not afford to repay. It might be called Paul Blanco's Good Car Company, but for many families, that name could not be farther from the truth. Our lawsuit challenges Paul Blanco and the company with making false statements on credit applications to, obtain, to obtain auto loans based on false pretenses, including by deceiving lenders about the value of the vehicles and fraudulently inflating consumers' income to make them appear more capable of repaying unaffordable loans. That allowed the company to boost its profits through improper finance sales and increased uh, the risk that increased the risk that consumers would be saddled with and these loans really, at the end, would become unaffordable. The company also tricked customers into paying thousands of dollars worth of add-on products, like service contracts and gap insurance, by telling them those add-ons were required by law, 
or by simply concealing the charges altogether, sometimes literally by covering them up with their hands. Those tactics raised the price of an already substantial purchase, and often it required the buyer to take out an expensive loan. And to lure those unsuspecting consumers to their dealership, the company also ran a number of false and deceptive advertising campaigns on TV, on the radio, and online. I'm sure we've all seen them. The dealership even promoted a program for senior citizens that supposedly offered reduced prices and interest rates and an easier approval process when in reality no such program ever existed. Those customers deserve better. Today's action is about protecting our families from deceptive and unlawful practices, which a prior is this is a priority of the California Department of Justice. These practices are unacceptable whether the business in question is a car dealership, a for profit college, or anything else. That's why in twenty seventeen this team took on electronics and appliance retailers like Curacao and we took them to court for unlawfully preying on vulnerable consumers. And that's why we've gone after for-profit colleges and student loan providers for their unlawful business practices that target our students and our families through heavy debt and educational institutions that leave you with a piece of paper that's not worth the tuition you paid for it. This is not the first time that we pursued this type of case, and I guarantee you it won't be the last. Families in our great state should know that they have rights as consumers and that the Department of Justice has the people and tools it takes to defend them. One of the best tools that we have starts with and builds upon cases based on information that consumers provide us. If you have any information that we can use to go after those who swindle you and defraud you and defraud your neighbors and your community of hard-earned income, please call us. Call us at a toll-free number, 1-800-952-5225, or visit our website, www.oag.ca.gov slash complaint. As I started off saying, this may not be the defense of our clean car standards nationwide, but it is de in defense of those who intend to be able to purchase that very important vehicle, and we want that purchase to be the right one at the right price.